Haiti might have become the world's first black-led republic and the first independent state in the Caribbean when it threw off French colonial control and slavery in the early 19th century. But a history of chronic instability, dictatorships and natural disasters have left it as the poorest nation in the Americas and one of the poorest in the world. Yet necessity is the mother of invention and a group of Haitian artists and sculptors have turned to trash, debris and found objects to create a startling fusion of folk art, voodoo and dystopian futurism. Welcome to E Pluribus Unum, a self-styled urban museum in Port-au-Prince. E Pluribus Unum is Latin for one from many. So it's a very apt name for a gallery of artworks created from trash and debris. It's also André Eugène's studio and yard. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working in the, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, in the garbage. Yeah. You know, the bourgeois don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Eugène is one of the leaders of Atis Resistance, a collective of Haitian sculptors and artists who create works of art from trash, junk and found objects in one of the poorest and challenging environments in the world. His sculptures reflect his immersion in voodoo, Haiti's syncretic religion, combined with an apocalyptic vision of the future, one that has only grown bleaker since the 2010 earthquake that killed hundreds of thousands of people and left the island in ruins. He even makes use of human skulls scavenged from collapsed burial chambers in Port-au-Prince's overflowing cemeteries. Over the last decade, André Eugène's works have been exhibited in cities such as Paris, London and Los Angeles. And his sculptures are now part of permanent collections at places like Miami's Frost Art Museum. But international success hasn't made his life any easier. Imagine I'm very famous here. And then look at my situation, look at my studio. Haitian art has always had a reputation for imaginative richness. But the buzz growing around the in-your-face works of André Eugène and Atis Resistance is a completely new phenomenon. They just wish it would translate into enough money to improve their lives and working conditions. Well,